Welcome to the Six Miles to Supper podcast. I'm your host, Kayla Cox, and I've lost over 80 pounds with intermittent fasting six days a week, eating whatever I wanted at my meals, taking a cheat day every Sunday, and walking six miles a day. And I'm here to help you on your weight loss journey. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the fringe benefits of intermittent fasting. Now, you guys know if you've been listening to this podcast, uh, I love intermittent fasting. That's how I lost uh, the weight, and it's how I've continued to keep it off. I love intermittent fasting uh, for weight loss because it's so different than anything I'd ever tried uh, my entire life. You know, the the way I would try to lose weight is to do some sort of unsustainable diet. You know, white knuckle through it finally get the weight off and then just go back to eating all the foods I love to eat. And then I would gain the weight back plus some. But intermittent fasting has allowed me to just eat all the food that this entire time throughout the process of losing weight and keeping it off. I continue to eat everything I love. And that was a really big reason why I chose intermittent fasting was because it was so different. And I, I thought, well, that's a great way to lose weight. But what I didn't foresee was that there were so many other benefits that were going to come my way uh, from intermittent fasting. One big benefit I've seen is the spiritual benefit of intermittent fasting. And um, this was unexpected for me. I, I, I had, you know, I had read the Bible. I, I'm a Christian. I, I had heard about fasting in that sense. I mean, pretty much every religion out there has some sort of fasting practice, but I had never tried to fast. You know, I had I had only read about it in that uh, context of just, oh, that's something they did back in the Bible times. And so this daily practice of just fasting for a little bit each day uh, really opened my eyes to something that I, I, I hadn't realized about myself. And that was that really I had started to elevate food to a place in my life that really was not healthy. You know, um, I was making it way too important. And, uh, you know, the, the Bible talks about, you know, you should not have any idols. And I've always heard it explained as an idol is anything that become, that comes between you and God. And I wouldn't have thought, you know, back in back in 2014, I would I wouldn't have thought that like food was my idol or that I had let it become an idol. But really it had because I was putting that, uh, you know, that that want of wanting to eat a lot and and that kind of thing in front of my own health. You know, uh, I was just making it into a really important part of my day. I thought about food a lot. Food was a lot of times the best part of my day. The, The eating of a meal was the best part of my day. And through this practice of just intermittent fasting, I started to see like, oh, you know, uh, food isn't, I mean, it's important as far as, you know, you have to eat every day, but it needs to be in its rightful place. I mean, I think it's wonderful to eat food and really enjoy it. And, and I've become a lot more grateful for the food and, uh, and all that, but, uh, just the, being able to put it in its rightful place and to, to see that it's, it's important, but it's not as important as I was putting it before. And of course, this has translated into, as, as I've done longer fast, you know, like a five-day fast, um, the spiritual benefits there are, are even more obvious because uh, it really shows you it, it, uh, how there are so many more important things in life uh, and, and how often uh, food can be used to kind of not think about important things or to, to delay uh, actions that we should uh, take otherwise. Now, the second area I found uh, a big benefit in is just in self-discipline. You know, when you get in the habit of intermittent fasting, you are telling yourself to do something. You're just making yourself do something. And uh, and this has been so helpful because it has helped me to then be disciplined in so many other areas. I mean, obviously, like being able to weigh myself every day or to to continue tracking that, that takes self-discipline. Just getting yourself to do things that you want to do is hard. Um, uh, it just is. But if, 
But this practice of intermittent fasting has really given me that self-discipline I need. And so I've stuck with things that I normally would have quit on myself for before. Um, you know, like, for example, writing books, that was certainly something um, for years and years. I mean, even when I was a kid, I wanted to write books. And uh there was just something in my head like, oh, you can't do that. And um, the practice of intermittent fasting showed me the power of just doing a little bit each day, just doing the work. It doesn't have to be hard, just, you know, taking those small steps every day. And it's helped me to just continue to be self-disciplined. And then this goes hand in hand with that. The, the benefit of getting a sense of control over your life. You know, when you get this piece of the puzzle in place, like the the whole being able to control your weight. So in other words, like once you really get good at intermittent fasting and you're being consistent and you're making tweaks until you find those results you're looking for, uh, you start to get this sense of control. Like, oh, I can control my weight. I can, I, this isn't luck. This isn't, I'm a victim of my genetics. This is just, my weight is a direct result of the actions I am taking every day. And then you start to look around and see all the other areas in your life that you can start taking action on. And, uh, and that has been just a huge, uh, thing for me to really see how many different times in my life I was kind of sitting back and like, just letting, things happen to me. And now I go out and happen to things. And that's just a really cool benefit. Another fringe benefit of intermittent fasting is all the free time you find. Uh, You know, I think this is especially relevant for those of us that have kids, uh, because so many times uh, we get it in our heads like, oh, I just don't have time. You know, my kids take up all my time. But when you are able to say, well, you know, I would otherwise be eating right now. You know, like I, 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 ha- I would have that blocked off for this part of my day. Then it creates this block of time for you. Like, okay, this, this breakfast block is now available for you. Guilt-free, you can just take this time and do something with it. And uh, just creating that time, because, you know, like, like I said in uh, the a previous episode, y- you never have time you make time and, um, and learning that lesson with intermittent fasting that like, you can just create this chunk of time for yourself. Then you start to see like, Oh, I can, I can do this a lot. I can just say, okay, that other block that I was using for this particular activity, I can not do that and, and do something else. And, uh, and it's amazing all the different things that you can do, all the reading you can get done, writing you can do, or, or, you know, art you can create or just anything that you're wanting to do, things you're wanting to learn. You can create that time because of intermittent fasting, because it just frees up so much time. Another fringe benefit is the mental space that it clears up. You know, uh, I didn't realize, and, and this goes back, to, I guess, to the the spiritual aspect of it, but I didn't realize how much time I spent every day thinking about food, thinking about what I needed to eat, what, you know, like, and of course that whole debate in my mind, like, what should I be eating? Like, how much should I be eating? How often should I be eating? You know, it, it just took up a lot of my, my brain space. But then when you just simplify your life and say, I'm going to do intermittent fasting. Like I'm going to eat between the hours of uh, two and eight or two and six, or, or I'm going to eat one meal a day. It's like, then for a huge chunk of your day, you're not even thinking about food. It's just, you're thinking about other things. You're thinking about other parts of your life. You're thinking about the tasks that you can do. Um, and so it just creates a lot of uh, of mental space. And it's just a very interesting uh, benefit that I've seen. Something that I didn't even realize I needed. And just from a practical standpoint, a great benefit of intermittent fasting is it's cheap. You're going to save money on groceries uh, for yourself, at least. You know, If your family's not practicing intermittent fasting, you're still going to have to buy the same amount of groceries for them. But if you're intermittent fasting, it does take uh, a chunk out of you know, what you would normally be buying for yourself. Also, a practical benefit is you just don't have as many dishes to clean or messes to clean up because you're just not eating that frequently, which again goes back to it creates more time for for you to do other things with your life aside from just cleaning and thinking about food. 
Another cool thing that this does is it gets you in the habit of leaning into discomfort. You know, the thing about intermittent fasting is you're going to have times when you're hungry. You just are. I mean, even when you're really good at it, you're going to like kind of mess up. Sometimes you're going to like not eat quite enough or your activity level maybe is going to be really a lot higher than you uh, think it's going to be. And so then you get hungry. And if you're going to be practicing intermittent fasting consistently, what that means is that when you feel hungry, you just sit there and you lean into that discomfort of feeling hungry and you don't eat until you said you were going to eat. And that process of just leaning into discomfort, that pride is it's like this muscle that you can work. And, and one way you can work that muscle is with intermittent fasting. And the cool part of that is then it really opens up your life because uh, so many times the things that make our life small is because it's going to be uncomfortable to to do that thing that we we think might be neat that we think we would like to do um when we don't want to lean into discomfort then our life gets smaller but when we get in the habit of leaning into discomfort our life gets bigger and bigger and so that daily practice of fasting uh helps you to get into that habit of leaning into discomfort and making your life bigger and lastly it's just convenient. You know, like it is really convenient to not be a slave to your your stomach, your eating schedule, you know, um, especially once you get like really experienced with intermittent fasting. Uh, you can see that uh, it's like, oh, I don't even have to eat today. If, if I really if my schedule gets so bent out of shape and crazy, like I could just not eat today and I'd be fine. And um, this is uh, something that you'll start to see like. Uh, when you when you start to get really good at this and then you observe other people and how often our days get interrupted or things don't get done because there's this like we feel the need to stop everything and and eat like, oh, I, I can't skip lunch or I can't skip supper, you know, uh, and it's just really convenient to be like, oh, well, I don't you know, if, if things need doing, I can go do them and I don't have to eat right now. And uh, it's just an interesting uh, way uh, your life can kind of change your perspective and your paradigms start to shift uh, when you realize that um, fasting kind of gives you this this skill, the superpower that not everybody has. And the cool thing is about all these other fringe benefits is they add up to make intermittent fasting just a lot more attractive of a thing to do for the long term. Because it's not like, you know, all the other diets, it's like, well, you know, I want to go back to eating these certain foods after a while. It's like, eh, I don't I mean, yeah, maybe I kind of feel better, but I really miss those foods. But with intermittent fasting, it's like, wow, there's like all these other benefits, too, that I have just from continuing to practice this way of eating, which of course makes maintenance a lot easier than it would otherwise be. And so I would encourage you, you know, as you're practicing intermittent fasting, look around for the other fringe benefits because there, there may be some in your own life that you start to see that maybe I haven't seen yet. So uh, keep track of those because then uh, as you go along, you know, if you, if you hit a rough patch or something, well, like if you hit a plateau, uh, this can really help you to stay on track because because then you're not just doing it just for the weight loss. You're doing it for all these other fringe benefits too. So thank you for joining me in this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, if you're like 78% of the American population who's living paycheck to paycheck, let me tell you, you don't have to do that. All you need is a plan to get going and we can help you with a plan. Kayla and I are both financial coaches, so if you'd like to get our help in getting you on a plan so that you can win with money, go to the link in the description to schedule a free consultation call.